Hello and welcome back to Provost Gaming and RuneScape 3. So, where we last left off in the short episode is we now know we need to poison the people of West Ardenae to validate this theory that there is a plague. Dina Plushy seems to think that I am a pro. Say hello to the audience. And as far as the levels, Tina Plushy, rather than type it all out, I will let you take a look. These are the specifics of what I have. Frankly, it's perfect timing because other people have been asking for that too. I am a noob. I am no pro. I am very much a noob. But I am making progress and I think that's all that matters. Where's Elena? Who? That's who I'm looking for right now. Pixel babies. Okay, pixel babies, once again. Um, yes, I'm sorry. Where was I? I got distracted. I got distracted. Tina, you distracted me. It's fine. I, li I love you anyway. All right. Uh, where's Elena? There she is. We're going to talk to her, and she can hopefully provide a certain level of insight. In oh, there's the Illuminati. I've been looking for them forever. Oh, I swear that they existed, and there it is. Illuminati right there. Bam. Yup, indeed. Elena will tell us how to get this poison going. Hello again, Elena. Oh, oops. <laughs> how Dear, you went to my house, Morna! Get out! Elena, it's me, Nork Provis. Oh, sorry, Nork Provis. I didn't recognize you in all that mortar gear. How's it going? All right, but I can do with your help. What's the problem? I've been asked to produce a poison based on rotten apples. I doubt any poison based solely on apples, rotten or not, will be very effective. Well, I put a rotten apple in the mourner's stew. I'm told the effect was much like the symptoms of the plague. Hmm, that sounds like they were ill from some sort of toxin. I should think it was mold or some sort of effect, not the rotten apple itself. What do you need it for? I need to poison a large food store in order to gain the mourner's trust. That's awful! I can't help you in such an endeavor! If I don't gain the trust of the mourners, then the people of West Ardenay will have a much worse time than the effects of that toxin. Elena, trust me. I think you should tell me just what's going on. Well, I'll start from when we found out that the plague was a hoax. After returning to Ardenay, I visited the king to tell him of our discovery. As you can guess, he already knew about the plague being a deception. I knew it! But why? King Lathis told me that while his brother was exploring the realm west of here, he was taken by the Dark Lord, who forced him to drink from the Chalice of Eternity. I'm told this corrupted him. You don't sound too sure about that. Where his alignment la lay matters little now. You must understand I was acting on the best information I had at the time, but I jump ahead of myself. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt your story. King Lathis explained to me that in order to stop the Dark Lord, we needed to stop his brother, and to do that, we needed to find a way to the Rest Realm. Realm. Re rest. West Realm. Oh yeah. This is a tongue twister here. I was led through a cave system packed full of traps that led right under the mountains to the west. At its heart was an evil mage named Iben. He held the Well of Voyage, a way of traveling to the Western Realm. My guide went a little mad, and, well, to cut a long story short, I eventually had to destroy Iben. This saved my guide and gave us access to the well. Unfortunately, Iben had messed with the magic of the well, and mages were needed to repair it. I returned to King Lathis, who told me he'd see to fixing the well. Sometime later, I received a summons to meet with Lathis. The king informed me the well was repaired, and that I was fin to finally go and deal with his brother. He said I could expect help from his ally when I got there. Once more I passed through the warren of traps under the mountain, this time passing through the well of voyage. This eventually led me to a land known by its inhabitants as Tyrannin. Tyrannwin. I don't know. There are people beyond the mountain range. People, yes, but not like you or I. I was just coming to them. Where was I? Oh, yes. I was only in the woods of Tyrannwin a short while when I was caught in a fight between two factions of elves. Elves? Really? I thought they'd gone from this land. No, they're still there, and in some sort of a civil war, too, it seems. Anyway, getting back to the story. Luckily, the winning side of the fight was my contact. Lathis allied with one of the elves' factions? Yes, I didn't think about that at the time, but it did strike me as a little odd after I thought about it. 
Anyway, a plan was devised to blow up King Tyrus. A plan I was sex, sex, uh, successful in carrying out. As I said, I was acting on the best information I had available at the time. I left Tyrwin to return here and inform King Lathis that his brother was dealt with, carrying a magically sealed message from the elves. On my return journey to Lathis' castle, I conf was confronted by an elf from the rebel faction. He knew a great deal about me and my deeds. He also knew of the message I carried. He cast a spell on the message that let me open it. And what did it say? It was told of how King Lathis wants to reclaim the land given by his father to the Knights of Camelot, and of a deal between the elves and the king, promising the help of the Dark Lord in his endeavor. I knew he was up to no good, but how could he side with anything that calls itself the Dark Lord? This was my thinking too, so I agreed to go and meet with the leader of the Elven Rebellion. I was taken to a small village in a hidden valley, where I spoke with an elf named Arianwyn. He revealed to me that our mourners are not quite what we thought, in fact the elves who follow the Dark Lord. I was asked by Arianwyn to infiltrate them and find out their plan. I managed to fool them into thinking I was a new recruit, which was no small task in itself. I think I need to win the trust of the head mourner before they will let tell me anything useful. And so, my story ends there. That's some tale. So what now? I guess I'll follow the headwater's instructions until they let me in on a plan. Alright, I'll help. You'd better be right about this, and I'd better make sure you get this toxin right so no one dies. Bring me a sample of rotten apple to examine. I'll also see if I can make a counteractant for the toxin. Alright, I'll be back shortly. Wow, that was one heck of a thorough recap. Jeez. Alright, I got a rat and open for ya. Yes, it's me. Have a rotten apple? I have an apple. Take an apple. Rotten apple to the face. Eh. Alright then, let's get started. She starts some tests. Take a while. Leave you to it. Oh, please tell me you're not gonna make me wait again. I don't wanna wait. This is the only quest I have ever done where they have made me wait minutes at a time. Right, let's try this again. How's it going, Elena? You shouldn't creep up on people in all that gear. Where was I? Oh, yes. I've managed to isolate a small sample of the toxin. It's a byproduct of the mold that grows in these apples. It's not fatal, so a counteractant shouldn't be necessary. How big is the store that you're going to affect? Well, I was instructed to contaminate the two distribution points. That's over half the food in West Ardeny. You're going to need a huge amount of toxin to do that. You're also going to need to refine it too, or people will notice rotten apple in amongst the food they're buying. This is starting to sound a little tricky. Can't you make it for me? I would, but I don't have the right equipment here to do anything in bulk. Alright then, tell me the process, and I'll get started. Right. Well, the first thing you do is mash up a lot of rotten apples. Then you'll need to dissolve the toxin into a liquid that has very low evaporation points, some form of solvent. I was told about a book on explosives that discussed a perfect solvent for the job, but I don't remember who told me about it. Sorry, I can't be of more help. Now where was I? Oh yes, next, the useless solid can be strained out. This should leave you with a solution of the toxin in solvent. Finally, heat the mixture to evaporate off the solvent. Be careful of naked flames, as the solvent will be highly flammable. Once all that's done, you'll be left with a white powder. Be very careful not to breathe in or ingest this, as this is our toxin. And that's all it is. Why isn't everything ever easy? Here, this may help. A large sieve. Sieve. Sieve? I think it's called sieve. You may want to check out the orchard just north of the city. I hear no one has tended it since the blight infected the trees there. Yeah, it's probably a good, good idea. Alright, Elena, you're useful for something. I'll give you that much. She's a chemist. Chemist people freak me out. You never know what they're capable of, manipulating the elements like that. It's unnatural! That, that's sort of the point of science, though. Anyway, alright, so... We're gonna head to the Empty Orchard, which is just south of the Gnome Stronghold. Just keep traveling on west. We're gonna have to get ourselves a barrel of rotten apples and mash it all up. And then, uh, we're gonna have to go and get some poison waste and go through that whole distillation process, which we've done in a previous quest. I don't really remember which one it was. Maybe it was Regicide. It was something in this series, I know that much, because that's the only way you can get to Isafdar. Isafdar! Blah, 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 blah. 
Elfland. I will call it Elfland from now on because that is pronounceable. Let's grab ourselves a barrel and fill it up with rotten apples. Use barrel, rotten apple pile, scoop it up. Okay. And if we just use this on the apple barrel machine thingy. Squish it all in there. Oh, apparently I'm going for I'm going for it. Woo! 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 Blah. We have orange apple mush. Yay! Apple barrel. Okay, rotten apples. Makes for an excellent cider, did you know? Now that we have this last barrel, we'll need two of them. Let's teleport over to Tiranlin. And uh, I'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just we'll just go south. The poison wastes is our destination, and we'll fill up the barrel with coal tar. Then, of course, we'll have to go to Rimmington, which is exactly what we've done in the past. How did this herald get over here? I know he's supposed to be at every lodestone, but seriously, explain that to me. Where did he come from? How did he get here? I had to go through a lot of work to get this. There's the tar. Fill her on up. Broop, we got a barrel of coal tar. Now we're gonna teleport over toward Port Sarim. I really need to get myself a new animation for my home teleport. But I'm just too cheap. Because there's no really good way to get that unless you're willing to pay some real money for that stuff. Let's go to Rimmington, which is due west of Port Sarim. If I recall correctly. It's amazing how little I have to rely on my map after a year of playing this game. I remember where most things are. Certainly the, uh, certainly the main points in a free-to-play game. I used to go here all the time when I was a fledgling in RuneScape many years ago at the tender age of 13. Ah, good times. Good times. Where's the machine? It's right around the corner, right? Hey, it's Da Vinci and all those other weird people. Hey, there's someone else doing this quest. What are you doing here? This is my still. Fine. Okay, I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to do. First, I think we use the barrel of coal tar on the thingy. And now... what? Let's see. In order for this to work, I want to rotate the tar regulator twice. This thing's gonna get up to green, and I want to relieve the pressure. Ah! Come on, relieve the pressure! What happened? Gosh dang stupid thing, I hit the thing and it didn't relieve it. Alright, I gotta go get some more tar, I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. Use the barrel. Tar regulator. Two clockwise. Once it gets to green, we're gonna relieve some pressure, like now. There we go, add coal. Add coal, add coal. Get the heat up there. A little more. There we go. Oh, don't get too hot now. Don't get too hot. Don't don't go anywhere. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Let's add a little more. There we go. There we go. Perfect. This isn't so hard. I don't know why I couldn't get the thing to work. I was clicking, but I guess clicking in the middle doesn't work. Oh well. So now we have this. I'm afraid to leave the menu in case something doesn't work. Let's just I uh, have no choice. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. A barrel of naphtha. Let's use the naphtha on the apple barrel, and now we have a naphtha apple mix. We're gonna teleport back over to Ardeny. From there, we should be able to do some cool stuff. Um, now first off, she said we need to cook the naphtha? Yeah, okay, that's easy to do, although she said specifically not to do it on open flames because it will blow up in my face. So where's, where's an oven? I'm just gonna barge into some random person's house and be all like, hey! Mind if I use your oven? Sure, what do you need to do? Oh, I just need to cook some poison. There'll be noxious fumes in your house, but hey, don't worry about that. It won't kill you, I'm sure. You're an NPC. You don't die in RuneScape unless you have a level that I can specifically kill you. Are you worth combat XP? No? Okay, you're fine then. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they'll just stand there all bewildered like, uh, what's, what's in here? What is this? A pottery oven. Really? I forgot there was a pottery oven even in this area. Where's an, I need a normal cooking range. Something will work. Is that one in there? Maybe there's one over here in West Ardeny. It used to have a totally different icon on the minimap, and it throws me off. A lot, actually. Because I remember all this stuff from when I was a kid. It actually looked like a pan back in the day, not this little bowl with soup in it. Whose idea was that? Was it you, Jake X? 
Was it your idea? You're silly people. Hey, if I'm gonna cook this stuff, I might as well do it in a room full of mourners. Don't breathe in, everybody. I don't have any items to be cooked. Yes, I do. I can't cook it on a range. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little, I'm a little confused. Cook at range. I don't have any items which can be cooked. But I do. I do, don't I? Well, this ah, don't now run. I hit him. I smacked him in the face. Now run, hit and run, hit and run. All right, I'm confused. I'll be back as soon as I get this figured out. Oh right, duh. She gave me a sieve. I'm supposed to use that. There we go. I removed the solids out of the mixture. Same strategy. Wor the Illuminati are following me again. They know I'm on to them. Now let's use the toxic naphtha on a on a range. Cook it out. I have a powdery residue outside of the barrel. Toxic powder. Two of them. Perfect. Whoa, what are you doing? Apparently she punched a mortar in the face too. Where's the food store? Uh blah 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 sacks of grain or somewhere. Where are the food stores? Go away, mourner. Nobody appreciates me. Nobody likes the mourners. Hmm. Oh, they hit some in the church. You sneaky little suckers. Let's poison you up. Can't tell the difference. Can I poison the other sack? Does it matter? I've already poisoned this store. I need to find another one. Of course I do. Why not? Why would I not need to find another store? How was I supposed to know? Seriously, though. Come on. Who stashes their grain in the church? I thought it was supposed to be in a standard distribution area. I was looking for a big government building. That didn't seem to happen. Uh, la, 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 where, where, where? In the general store, perhaps? Oh, wait. Wait. I see grain. I see grain. Put it in there. There we go. Can't tell the difference. Oh, yes. It's done. All these poor, sick, and starving people in West Ardeny are all going to be poisoned and sold into slavery to work for the elves. Oh, and there's a lot of children, too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that that just tugs in my heartstrings a little bit more about what I'm doing here, but, um, okay, you know? Uh, the ends justify the means, right? Is that the gist of it? I don't believe in that, not for a second, but, um... I'm definitely the kind of person who says that the means very much matter, even depending on the end. But, uh, and you know what? In an RPG like RuneScape, who cares, right? All right, we're looking for the head mourner. There, there's, that's a person. Never mind, that's the head mourner. There we go. You are back already. How is the epidemic going? The epidemic? Oh, you mean the poisoning? Subtle as a brick. Yes, that. How is it going? That's all done and dusted. All right, sorry, that was a bad pun. Yes, right, well, anyway, this is good news. Give it a few days and the slave pens will be full again. What do you need the slaves for, anyway? I guess you have proven yourself now. I will tell you of our discovery. Not long after we convinced Lathis that it was a good idea to let us run West Ardeny, we found evidence that somewhere under the mountains to the west is a place of ancient power. We have been d using those we take from the city to help us dig down to it. Unfortunately, we have opened up a few caverns infested with beasts. We lose a few slaves every day to them. We had better find this temple soon. Temple? Yes. A book recently found tells us of a temple built by early elven settlers. The temple was made around an altar of unknown origin. All we know about the altar is that it gives us access to some very powerful magic. So that is the real purpose behind us being here. Not really. Like I say, we are here to prepare the way for the Dark Lord. But gaining the power of the temple will speed things up a lot. I see. Now that you know about the temple, I have a new task for you. But it will have to wait. One of the guards has taken the excavation site key to the locksmith to be copied. Report in regularly, and I will see that you get the copy as soon as he gets back. 
Ah, yes, okay. Much constitution and thieving XP. Butamus. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna have to get to this quest probably next week. Morning's End Part 2 is next on the agenda. After that, it's very much a free-for-all in terms of what's gonna happen. Some people think I should continue. <clears throat> excuse me. Some people think I should continue with the Myreek. Some people think I shouldn't and should move on to Fairy Tail. Some people think I should probably move on with something like um, the Curse of Arav and try getting some of those things down. I don't really know what to do. I'm going to rely on a bit of feedback to decide on that. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Provis with Morning's End Part 1. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Get out of my way, Mourner. <laughs>